26. We'll kick it off. Injured his ankle at San Francisco. Good to go. From the one. Turpin. Can't make the 25. He makes his 103rd start as a Cowboy. They start with Pollard, and he gets hit right at the line of scrimmage. Two and low to the rookie is there to make the stop and uh, pick up uh, just one. Tony Pollard is averaging 20 touches a game. He already has one. Somebody got to emerge across from C.D. Lamb, who was frustrated with his usage at San Francisco last week. And right out of gate, Sebastian Joseph Day is injured and down for the L.A. Chargers. As a sack, the former Ram, your two of a three-year deal. And first place from scrimmage, and he's unable to get up after the one-yard pickup by Tony Pollard. A little thin overall in that defensive tackle position. You mentioned it, Sebastian Joseph Dick coming over, has a history with head coach Brandon Staley from their time together with the Rams. Good to see Joseph Day walking off the field. The Chargers do get Joey Bosa back. He missed the last game against the Raiders with a toe issue. Brandon Staley told us that while he's also dealt with a hamstring, it's more a toe. There's the group. And Khalil Mack was at four names down, coming off a six-sack game here against the Raiders. Here's Pollard again. Out across the 25. Ball comes out. But they're going to say that Pollard was down. No fumble. Returned by the Chargers, but Pollard was ruled down. Marlowe came away with ball, but it's just a three-yard gain, a third down and six as a result. Yeah, I think that good call as you look at this is to win the ball's coming out, knee down, comes out after the fact. So good job by the officials picking that up. I think right now the concern for Dallas is you're going to see a lot of too deep coverage from this Chargers defense not wanting to give up the big plays and they try to run it on first and second down really didn't have anything to show for and it's a sack to start the night on third and six getting home is Khalil Mack what a run he's on a loss of 11 Yeah, I'll say he's on a run. He had six sacks against the Las Vegas Raiders two weeks ago, and here he is one-on-one -on -one against Tyron Smith, and he just pushes Tyron Smith right back into the pocket. And then with the inside pressure, you got Joe Bosa in there as well. That's going to be the key for this Chargers defense. Can they get to the quarterback with the pass rush? Because their secondary has not played well through the four games of play. Darius Davis on the return to the punt by Anger. Has a lot of room on the far side. Got to the edge. Good return. No flags are thrown. And great starting field position for the Chargers to start their night. That's a 26-yard return. In a but he's done a lot of good things through four games that he's played. Been very efficient throwing the football. Herbert up to his right. Throws for Everett. Gerald Everett with the catch and a 15-yard pickup right out of the gate. Well, we came in the game wondering how much we'd see Justin Herbert under center. And the first snap, they will play action because he does have the broken finger on his left hand. He hasn't taken a snap under center all week. Right from the start, that's why he's wearing that glove. Comes right out, good action in the backfield, and Gerald Everett for a nice game. We'll talk about offensive coordinator Kellen Moore. First down at 10 with Eckler in the backfield. Man, are they happy to have him back. They fit it to him. They hit Palmer. Flag on the play. Palmer to the end zone. However, it's coming back. Ineligible man downfield is the call. And that erases a 27-yard touchdown. Ineligible player downfield. Offense number 77. Five-yard penalty. We play first down. 
That's left guard Zion Johnson. And, you know, we've seen it in the games that we've had this year, Joe. The officials are really picking that up. There was a time when you run this one pass option that linemen could come off the ball, get down the field. It was hard for the officials to be able to pick that up, but they've done a good job of, of seeing it. And there's been a lot of calls in the games that we've had. Brings up first down and 15. Fake it to Eckler again, now throw it to him. One of the best out of backfield doing this. Has blocking. Waits for the blocking. Picking's way down inside the five. And the Chargers look like they want to hurry it up. 28-yard catch and run by Austin Eckler. Well, they catch him in man coverage, and you've got the defense running with wide receivers. Nobody there to make a play on Eckler. They snap it fast, throw to Keenan Allen. And a good job by Jaron Curse to fight his way through and make the tackle. So this game has started about as well as you could hope for if you're the Los Angeles Chargers. Defense comes out, starts the game, makes a big three and out, get a good return. And then the offense is look really good here on this opening drive. Eckler got hit in the face by Dante Fowler during that pregame skirmish with that last big play. Now second and goal. They hand it to Eckler. Down to the one. There is no way that this game, Troy, is not personal for Kellen Moore. He was let he was on the market for less than a full day. Chargers pick him up, and here he is facing his former team, an organization he was part of for eight years. Well, you think about the success that he had as the play caller. They led the NFL in total offense two times while he was there, and in points, they fixed in the top three three times. So hard to look at his body of work and not say he was really good. Here's Allen, touchdown Chargers. Chalk one up for L.A. and chalk one up for Kellen Moore. Well, they put Keenan Allen in motion, and Jordan Lewis is the one who's locked up in man coverage. You can see how easy that was. I mean, coverage was, was so poor with that that even a throw that was behind him, he's able to turn, make the catch on the ball, and Jordan Lewis nowhere to make a play. Four touchdown of the season for Keenan Allen. And then turn around, get a good punt return from the rookie Darius Davis. And take it down the field and into the end zone. Yeah, they were outstanding in all three phases. Defense, special teams, and then on offense. Turpin will let this one sail out of the back of the end zone and back to the touchdown by Allen. Keenan Allen comes across in motion. Jordan Lewis is going to go with them, but here's the real key. Quinn Johnston, he, number one here, he doesn't even get up the field to force Jordan Lewis to bubble. He doesn't push up, and even with that, even with the, their, their design, that route, four-man coverage, they got exactly what they wanted, but even without Quinn Johnston being able to push up to affect Jordan Lewis, I mean, that was a, about as easy a touchdown throw as Justin Herbert will have. See if the Cowboys can get it going this time. Two runs and a sack. First time they had it. Here's C.D. Lamb makes the catch. And enough for a first down for the Dallas Cowboys as he gets 11 with Michael Davis in coverage. Well, that's a good start for C.D. Lamb. A lot of discussion about not really getting him as involved in the offense. Michael Davis out there, if he's locked up one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to have a tough evening, whether it's C. Lamb who's lined up across from him or Brendan Cooks. He has struggled. A lot of those plays he gave up were week one. But he replaces J.C. Jackson, who was traded back to New England. And I, bit, I would imagine the Cowboys go after him. Prescott over the middle. There's Lamb again. Two big plays. And a first down at the Charger 41. This one for 23 yards. Well, good design there by Mike McCarthy. And a real simple read then for Dak Prescott. And they're going to run a high low on the linebacker and take a look on what they get. So here you got C.D. Lamb's going to come in here, and once once the linebacker there jumps the underneath crosser, it just opens up a big window there for Lamb to get in.
Quick setup. Now the throw and knocked away. This time Davis got his hands in there as he knocked away from Michael Gallup. Second and ten. Pretty physical there off the line by Michael Davis. See, he gets out of position in a grab. I was I was looking for a flag on the play from here when it happened. Good release off the line scrimmage by C.D. Lamb. Three straight pass plays this possession. Second and ten. Sebastian Joseph Day has left the field and gone into the locker room. Starting defensive tackle for the Chargers screen. Pollard. Martin out in front of it, and that'll take it down to the 34-yard line, a gain of seven. Trying to get some easy completions here for Dak and, and let him get into a groove. You mentioned the three interceptions that he had last week against San Francisco. It, it, I don't think his play, and I know Mike McCarthy would say the same thing, I don't think his play was as bad as what a lot of people might think when you look at the numbers. There were a lot of things that I thought needed to be cleaned up with this Dallas offense. Toss to Pollard. Tyron Smith out in front of him. First down, Dallas. Marlowe made a stop, but a seven-yard carry by Tony Pollard. Well, the tight end, Jake Ferguson, does an outstanding job of, of securing the edge Right here, he comes down and he takes on Khalil Mack. And so when he picks him up, it allows him Pollard to get on the edge and then Tyron Smith. Nobody, <laughs> if you're for the Chargers, you don't want to see that coming at you. He is 6'5", 307, an eight-time pro bowler. Good answer here by the Cowboys. Can they finish it? Pollard to the 22. Well, they're about to get into that red zone area where they have they have really struggled and have had a tough time and you know you talk to mike he feels that that's been a real problem for them throughout the year is primarily the fact that they haven't been able to come away with touchdowns last week and that loss to san francisco that never ever even got into the red zone second and five with dowdle in the backfield Prescott, Gallup, incomplete. It was there, and the two couldn't hook up. They're down in five. Davis in coverage. Had a chance, had exactly what they wanted, too. They've got a vertical. They also have Jake Ferguson, who's running across versus man, who has an opportunity. But Gallup has a, has a step once he's able to get inside. Here was the inside route to Jake Ferguson. So whichever you like, if you want the... The easy throw, you take Ferguson if you want the home run shot. Just the ball that was a little bit high. Third down, Prescott fakes the throw. Short of first down yardage by a yard. Kendricks and Matt combined on the stop and with a fourth and one. The decision from Mike McCarthy appears to be they're going to go. Analytics is green light here up to fourth and three. It's fourth and one. We just cleaned everything up for all those at home on what analytics thinks. Fourth, well, fourth one, you can pretty much bet no matter where you are, it pretty much says go for it. Dak keeps up the middle. Touchdown, Cowboys. They needed one, they get 18, and Dak has his first rushing touchdown of the year. Well, two and below two for the Chargers come crashing off the edge. He takes Pollard, and Dak Prescott does an outstanding job of just reading it out. He has the option of whether he's going to hand it off, keep it, and then once Tui Poloto took Pollard, nobody accounted for Prescott. Tie game. 